Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my cozy sweater weather perfumes. This has been requested by a few of you, and these fragrances that I have here, I have six in total. These ones I think are great for when you're wearing a cozy sweater like I am today. <laughs> it's starting to get very, very cold where I am now, so I'm very excited to be wearing these. Um, in the upcoming season. So let's begin here. I have some niche fragrances and some designer ones. Let's begin with uh, this one here. This is actually a fragrance that's marketed for men, but to me, it's very unisex, you guys. And it's a very popular one from the House of Guerlain. This is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal or Ideal. This one actually belongs to my dad, but I stole it from him. So <laughs> this is such a great scent, you guys. Uh, let me just spray it here. I love the sprayer on this bottle. It's very, uh, it does spread out really nicely. And um, oh, you guys, this is such a beautiful, cozy and warm scent. Uh, the main notes in this one are almond and tonka bean. There's a little bit of fruitiness at the top here as well and some earthiness in the base but mostly this is a sweet slightly powdery almond tonka bean scent uh, where it has like this nice warm huggy kind of feeling <laughs> this is perfect for you know sitting on the couch with a big blanket and a big sweater like a warm sweater and like staying in and it's very cold outside that's the kind of imagery that i get or the feeling that I get when I wear this. I absolutely love this one, you guys. Yeah, women should definitely check this one out, even though it's marketed for men, because yeah, it's a beautiful scent. It really, really is. And um, I enjoy this so much. So Guerlain L'Homme Ideal, it's probably my most favorite from this collection. I did used to wear the uh, L'Homme Ideal Cologne. I gave that one to my brother. As I was decluttering. I still really like that one though. Um, but yeah, this is just a gorgeous scent <laughs> and uh, perfect for the chilly weather and for cozy uh, sweater wear. And also I really like wearing this on my scarf as well. All right, so let's move on to another scent here. And this is one that really grew on me when I first tried it. I really liked it. And then as I wore it and tested it more and more, I liked it more and more. And now I think it's like a love now for me. This is from the house of YSL. I just have a travel size of it here. This is Libre Intense. And uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the original EDP. Wasn't a huge fan of the EDT either. <laughs> But this intense version, intense version, is just amazing, you guys. So let's spray it here. Also a very unisex scent. Men can wear this easily, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a sweet orange blossom scent. It has some lavender in here, giving it a little bit of an herbal kind of thing going on. Uh, some sweetness. I don't really remember what the notes are, but there's a sweetness in here, maybe some vanilla and some muskiness as well. This is a very, very strong scent. When I wear this, I, I just know that I'm projecting a lot and people can smell me when I wear this. And yeah, it kind of has, well, it kind of reminds me of a barbershop kind of scent because of that lavender, but then there's this beautiful sweetness in here and an earthiness and a muskiness and a little bit of an animalic type of feel in here. And yeah, it is just amazing, seriously. <laughs> After I finish this travel size, I can see myself getting the full bottle of this because for this type of weather, fall slash winter, it's just perfect. So this is Libre Intense. EDP and uh, yeah, <laughs> I just adore it. <laughs> now let's move on to a niche scent. 
an indie niche scent. This was actually a gift from one of my friends, Natasha. Thank you again so much. Uh, this is from the house of Solstice Scents. And this one is called Chiffon. So I do like the bottle here. It's very cute and simple. Nice artwork in the front. And this is a gourmand scent. And this one actually reminds me a lot of Lemon Eclair from Ganache Parfums. And yeah, this is a realistic, delicious lemon eclair, lemon cake, lemon uh, cream pie kind of scent. I really get this like whipped cream on top of a lemon pie type of thing with this. Also, I get that texture of the pie crust as well, but also a cakey, like a moist cake kind of thing too, like a vanilla cake. So <laughs> if that sounds something like, if that sounds like something you'd like to smell like, then this is perfect. Uh, when I wear this, it literally puts a smile on my face. I just feel so, I don't know, I feel very comfortable and uh, happy. And you can wear this year round. Um, it does have this nice creaminess that maybe that's why I think it's better for fall and winter uh, because of that thick, heavy cream, whipped cream thing going on in here. But yeah, you can wear this anytime. But I have been enjoying this one a lot. <laughs> it's very sweet, vanilla, lemon, cream pie. Um, and it's delicious. So yeah, that's Solstice Scents Chiffon. Now moving on to the next scent. Let's talk about this one here. This is actually uh, one that also belongs to my dad. Uh, I gave it to him many years ago and he loves this one. This is Pure Havan by Terry Mugler. Again, marketed for men, but women can wear this easily for sure. This one's pretty popular. I'm pretty sure you guys know, oh, it's hard to, I'm not a fan of this uh, bottle because it's really hard to press on there. <laughs> but this is one of my most favorite uh, tobacco scents. I got this bottle a long, long time ago in Paris. Uh, my husband gave it to me as a gift. But um, yeah, this is just a gorgeous tobacco scent. It is quite sweet. It has some kind of chocolatey thing going on in here. I'm not sure if chocolate is actually in the notes or cacao, but I do smell a dark chocolate, uh, tobacco, cherry, pipe tobacco kind of thing in here. And I absolutely love this. <laughs> it's a... Uh, a little bit smoky as well. When I smell this, I think of like a jazz club, sitting in a dark, smoky jazz club. And there's like leather seats in this jazz club. It's very like classy and bougie and people are smoking cigars that smell like, like chocolate flavored. So yeah, this is such a great scent, you guys. Is it discontinued? I'm not actually sure. Um, Mugler likes to um, discontinue things I th and then, well actually I'm very confused with how they discontinue things because then I will see it again, um, you know, on websites. So I'm not really sure if this is, if this is actually discontinued. Um, in any case, it's a great scent for cooler weather that I enjoy and is one of my most favorite tobacco scents with Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford being my absolute favorite. But yeah, I really enjoy this one. I'm glad that my dad enjoys it as well. Okay, so next up we have a scent, a niche scent that is quite new to my collection. This is from the house of Atkinson's and it's called Her Majesty the Oud. Now this one is, well, as the name says, it is an Oud scent but it's not really that heavy on the oud to me. Like I definitely smell the oud, but it reminds me more of a tobacco scent. 
Yeah, this has uh, a fruitiness at the top. It's a sweet, fruity oud, which is very easy to wear. It's creamy, it's woodsy. And then in the base, we have some like heavier, earthy oud notes, maybe some vetiver. I'm not really sure what the notes are anymore in this one. Uh, but yeah, this is a great scent. I actually leave this scent on this table right by the door. So every time I leave this house, um, I would spray this on. There's a few other scents that I leave on there as well. Uh, Lolita Land um, by Lolita Lampica is another one. And um, yeah, this one is great. And I sprayed my jacket with this I think it was last week <laughs> and every time I walk by the jackets where my jacket is I do still smell it so it is quite a strong scent that lasts so well on clothing you guys I actually prefer this on clothing rather than on myself um, but yeah I, I, I really enjoy this one and it was a blind buy for me and I'm very happy about this blind buy so that's Her Majesty the Oud, easy to wear, unisex, sweet, creamy, fruity, woody, oud, tobacco scent. <sighs> Lovely scent for sure. And I love the bottle. It's so like shiny and sparkly. Now the last scent here, cozy sweater weather perfume, was uh, actually another gift from my friend Natasha, my perfume fairy uh, viewer. <laughs> thank, you, thank you again. We have uh, one of my holy grails. Uh, this is from the house of Lolita Lampica, and this one is called L. So there's L there, L de Lolita Lampica. So this one I have talked a lot about on my channel in the past, and I have been looking for a bottle of this for a very long time. And uh, Natasha gave this to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I was so, so happy about this one. Oh my gosh. Discontinued, unfortunately, but I still think you can find it on eBay and maybe some other discounters. But this is such a lovely scent that is sweet, spicy, vanilla, cinnamon, to me, it smells like cupcakes, kind of, like cookies, like a spicy cookie scent uh, that uh, is just so delicious. <laughs> so, so delicious. This is my favorite from the house of Lolita Lampica. This is also one of the scents um, that I got the most compliments on, and I don't get a lot of compliments at all, but I have gotten some from this one. And yeah, it is just gorgeous. I think that this is similar, but not exactly the same as Musk Ravager. Uh, it has the same perfumer, Maurice Roussel. But yeah, there are definitely similarities between the two, for sure. Uh, this is definitely sweeter, less musky, more gourmand. Um, but kind of the same DNA in my opinion. I can leave my review of Musk Ravager in the down bar there if you guys want to see that. But yeah, this is just amazing for fall weather when you're wearing a nice cozy sweater or a scarf or something like that. And I am going to cherish this bottle seriously because it's getting harder and harder to find and it's just a great scent that I used to own the bottle of used it up and now I have a bunch of these little minis of it that I have been decanting into a little atomizer uh, but now I can use this <laughs> so yeah those were the six fragrances that I think are perfect for cooler weather wearing a cozy sweater for sure these are all phenomenal I would love to hear what you guys think about these scents in the comments Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.